Hey, how's it going? David Taub here with Epic Guitar Instruction. Hope all is going well, and I hope your guitar and musical journeys are going famously. Got a special request for this one. You're going to learn how to play Heaven by Warrant, and this is from their 1989 debut record, uh, Dirty, Rotten, Filthy, Stinking Rich. And we're going to do an acoustic version of this song. Now, if you want to play along with the original recording, what you're going to need to do is it's a half step down, so I'm tuned E flat tuning. So all the strings get tuned down one half step. So the tuning for the song is E flat and low to high. You're going to tune your guitar strings E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, and E flat. Now, as far as song structure, it's a lot of the same parts repeating. And because there's a bar chord in the song, B minor 7th, if you're having some trouble playing that chord, or if you're having trouble playing bar chords in general, or changing bar chords to open chords, opens to bars, I could really help you with that. Click on the link in the YouTube description box below, and I'll send you a free video lesson. It's killer. It's not on YouTube. It's extended play, and it has my essential bar chord playing and changing tips in it. It's packed with technique tips practice exercises that'll really get your bar chord playing and changing blasted to the next level and I'll pair it with an ebook my free ebook also comes with it which has more chord charts in it more lessons more exercises it's a killer one two punch I think you really like it I'll send them both to you for free video lesson ebook just click on that link below so the song starts off with an intro let me play you the intro first and I'll go back break it down and explain it it'll sound like this <laughs> pictures when verse one comes in. Okay, so let me show you the intro. The first thing, uh, let's go over the chords. Um, he plays a C suspended second chord, which looks and sounds like that. I'll show you a picture of it. Now, that's what he does, but if you want to make it a little easier, it might be easier for you to play a C add nine, where, so you're going to add that E note with that first finger. If I play the C add nine, very similar timbre than the C sus two. So you might find the C add nine easier. So you're gonna play that chord, and then you're gonna to go to a G. Now he plays a G fifth. Again, he does not use this first finger, and he's muting the A string with that G fifth. So that's the way he does it. You could play that four finger G though. Sounds very similar. Here's your G fifth, and here's your G, right? Very similar chords. Um, again, whatever is easier. I just like to show you originally how it's done because uh, I like to be as accurate as possible. So you have C sus 2, G, and then D, and then add your pinky to the high E string at that third fret, and that's a D suspended fourth, and then back to D. All right, so those are the chords in the intro. Here's how he plays it with the strum pattern. On the C sus 2, okay, so you're gonna do up, down, up, down, 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 up. Then go to the G, down, 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 up. These are patterns that will feature in, in the rest of the song too. And then on the D, down, up, down. Then add your pinky just for one down stroke, down, and take it off, down, 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 up. All right, if I do those all together slow, it'll sound like this. And then back to G or G5, because he starts that a first verse. And the intro goes right into the first verse on that G chord or G fifth, whatever one you want to play. And the first verse is, I got a picture in your house and you're standing by the door. There's three verses in the song. They're all the same. Let me play you the verse and then I'll go back and I'll explain the chords and the strum pattern. So right from that, got a picture. It'll sound like this. Picture. That's what goes into the pre-chorus. All right, so the verses. Um, I got a picture. Picture, you're going to go right to that G or G fifth, whatever's easy for you. Picture of your house and you're standing. Standing is a B minor seventh chord. If you don't know that chord, play your B minor bar chord and just take your pinky off. That flats the seven, making it a B minor seventh. Standing, on standing, you change to that B minor seventh door. It's black, C at nine, black and white and faded. 
and it's looking pretty worn, you go to a D major, and then it repeats. I could see the factory G uh, that I worked, silhouetted, unwedded, uh, you go to B minor 7 in the back. Um, the memories on Memories Change to C at 9 are gray, but man, they're really coming back. D. Okay, all verses are the same. Let's go over the strum pattern for the verses. And we're going to use this pattern a lot in the song. So the main pattern you're going to use is this one. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, so break up more complex strums into smaller strums. So two, two downs. Then up, down, up, down, straight eighth notes, one and two and, so down, down, up, down, up, down, and then up, down, up, put all three together slow. So do that strum once on the G chord. B minor 7, same strum. Now, C add 9, same strum, but we got to lengthen it a little bit. So do the down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. But at the, on the end of that, you're going to do a down, 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 up. So that's just down, 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 up. So on the C add 9, down, down, up, down, up, down. If I do that string slow and then it just repeats, it'll sound like this. Got a picture. Okay, and then it just repeats. You do that two times and that's all the verses. So right after verse one and verse two, it goes into a pre-chorus. And that pre-chorus is, I don't need to be the king of the world as long as I'm the hero of this little girl. Um, there's no pre-chorus in the third verse, but after the first two, you hear it. So I'll play you that uh, pre-chorus and it starts in I don't need, on the need it's C add nine. I don't need. chord on that big chorus right okay so on the pre-chorus it's just um, I don't need to go to that C add 9 or you could play the C sus 2 whatever's easier I don't need to be the king you go to the D of the world G as long C as C add 9 as I'm the hero D of this little you play E minor right E minor chord little D girl C add 9 and then you let that ring and then you could arpeggiate it, like they do on the record, just come right up to the strings. Heaven, right to G chord for the chorus. Okay, the strum pattern for the pre-chorus. Uh, on the first two chords, down, 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 up. That same kind of down, 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 up, like we did in the verses. So C add 9, down, 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 up, D, down, 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 up. Now, King of the World's longer G, so you have to do a down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Same strum we did in the verse, right? And then you repeat the C add 9 and the D. So, so far you get this. Alright, so on that D, the hero of this little one strum on the E minor, little one strum on the D, girl, C add nine. And you just again do one strum, you can let it ring, arpeggiate it. And if you could do me a quick favor, please subscribe to the channel. You know, subscribing to the channel, that really helps us to keep bringing the content, as well as ring that subscription bell, because then you'll be notified when we have new lessons posted. Also, leave a comment below. Let us know what lessons you'd like to see coming up. And if you like the video, please click the like button. Give it a thumbs up, share it, and thank you so much for your support. You got verses down, pre-chorus down. Next thing is the chorus, and the chorus is the heaven isn't too far away, closer to it every day. Day, no matter what your friends might say. That's the first chorus. The second chorus he puts in, We'll Find Our Way, puts in one other line in there, and I'll show you that we get to the second one. Let's do the first chorus. It'll sound like this, and then I'll go back and explain it. 
and the chords and the strumming really follow the vocal melody. So it's kind of like this. let that last chord ring and G. How I love the way you move, it goes right into verse 2. So the chords in the chorus, you're going to play a G. Heaven is in 2. On 2 you go to a D. Far away. C at 9. And then you just repeat that two more times. Same feel. G. Closer to it. D. Every. On D you go to every. C at 9. Day. G. No matter what your D. Friends, on friends you go to D. Might say C at 9. Last one, you just let ring. So the strum pattern we're going to use in the chorus is very similar to the to the one we're going to use that we used in the pre-chorus. And again, I'm just giving you kind of bass strums that kind of follow the melody, but once you get the hang of it, you could kind of change them up, do your own thing, have fun with them, right? So on heaven, on the G, you're going to go down, 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 up. Is in two. Two, you go to that D, down, down, down. Three hits on the D, three down strokes. So together. C add nine, now away, far away. On the C add nine, we're gonna do an extra down stroke. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down. Just sounds a little better like that, just three downs. Okay, and you do that same thing three times. Uh, and on the last time on the C add 9, just hit it once and let it ring. Uh, and then it goes into verse 2. And then as long as we're here, that's the first chorus. The second chorus, the first three times are exactly the same thing, no matter what your friends might say on that C add 9. And then we'll find our way. So he adds a D chord and C sus 2, or you play C add 9. So that last line of the chorus, of the second chorus, no matter what your friends might say, on say, this time instead of just hitting the C at 9, once you're going to hit it three times, down, 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 and then the D, we'll find our three downs, down, down, find our way, C sus 2, and you can just hit that once, and then it goes into the guitar solo. So it's, it's very similar, you're just adding to the end the D and the C add 9 again. And that's the second chorus. So you really have most of the song, we'll just do a few add-ons. Uh, so, you know, intro, verse 1, pre-chorus, chorus, verse 2, pre-chorus, chorus. No matter what your friends might say, we'll find our way, goes into the guitar solo. Now the guitar solo changes is in the key of A. So the chords on the guitar solo are, you're going to play an A, an E, and a D, and you do that two times, and the third time, A, E, D, and then you go E, D, and then it rings, and then it goes into verse three. Now the lights are going out. Let me play the rhythm, the chords underneath the guitar solo, then I'll go back and explain the strum panel. It'll sound like this. the lights on lights verse 3 now the only thing left is after verse 3 is there's a chorus outro uh, but that chorus goes up he sings it a whole step up so it's in the key of A whereas the rest of the chorus is a key of G now we're going up a whole step to the key of A and then he goes up another whole step to the key of B and do the chords again. Let me play you the outro chorus and then I'll go back and explain it. And right before that, you're ending that verse three on that D chord, I'm never giving up on you. And that's when he kind of brings the vocals up because heaven isn't too far away now is an A chord. It'll sound like this.
changes to the key of B. Uh, so he brings all those chords up another whole step. So the first time you do it, you do A, E, and D, the same way I showed you before in the guitar solo chords. And you go through those A, E, and D three times, and then it goes to this. It's going to go to a B. You could play just a B power chord or a B suspended second. Uh, and then to F sharp and then E. All right, so when it goes to that, oh, actually it goes B or B fifth, F sharp fifth, whatever you want to play there, E, variations of chords, and then back to the F sharp. I'll show you the rhythm in a second. The last time it goes B, F sharp, E holds it, and then it goes back to F sharp, three hits, and then the song ends on the E, just one hit and lets it ring. Let me play it for you from the B chord, that change where it goes from the chorus outro from A up a whole step to B. It'll sound like this. That's it. That's the whole song. I hope you enjoyed that lesson. Um, don't forget, subscribe to the channel. That really helps us to keep the content coming. Ring that subscription bell, and then you'll be notified when we have new lessons posted. I got lots of great stuff coming up, so you don't want to miss it. Also, don't forget to click on that link in the YouTube description box. Get my free video lesson and ebook on uh, uh, essential bar chord playing and changing technique tips and exercises. It's packed. It's a killer lesson. It'll really help you along in your guitar journey. Thanks so much for watching, and thank you so much for your support over the years and years. So appreciated. Have fun with those guitars. Keep rocking, and remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. So enjoy the journey. Take care, rock on. See you in the next lesson.